Hi guys. Show you my system again. Did some few tweaks again. As you can see, there's a lot more wires running from my uh, power supply now. So I'll start with the power supply. This is a Strider 1000 watt power supply. Um, fully modular, even the 24 pin ATX. Uh, everything's modular on this power supply. This is my um, reservoir. This is the Swiftec Micro Res Reservoir. Nothing really to say about it. It doesn't leak. Holds liquid. Performs great. There's a there's a fill port on top. There's a drain port on the bottom, or you can put a sensor or whatever you want here. This is my um, this is my pump here. This is a Swiftec MCP 355, and with an excess PC um, clear top cover, acrylic. Yeah. Here's my radiator. This is a MC, MCP320 or MCR320, sorry. It's got triple uh, 120 millimeter fans on it. These are Yate Loons. I think they're uh, 1,200 RPM fans. Um, these are red on black. Um, these are, I think, were a special edition. I got, I got a pack of five of these. I'm also running one to cool my north bridge since it's running at a, right now I think it's a 51, 52 degrees uh, Celsius. That's, um, I don't know, without the fan, it'd be about 70, 71. So yeah, let's get to the water blocks here. Alright, this is an, this is an Enzotech SCW Rev A water block. Uh, it's got the Enzotech uh, retaining bracket on it. I also have the, uh, the MOSFET cooler. That's a X58 MOSFET by Enzotech also. I like to keep the components uh, pretty much the same. I got my uh, dual EPS uh, 12 volt connectors plugged in my motherboard, so I'm feeding uh, 600 watts to my CPU right now. I got my, I don't know if you can see that. This wire right here. That's my, uh, there's a fortune Molex in there to help power supply these cards. to the hard drive. This is an OCZ Vertex 2 120 gig hard drive. This is a, this one's based off the Sandforce controller. Alright, it's got trim support, all, all that stuff. My secondary hard drive is a Western Digital Caviar Green 1.5 terabyte hard drive. Um, it's not a quick hard drive, but it's a, it's, it's a pretty good uh, secondary hard drive. It's got a 30 meg, uh, 32 meg cache on it. Here's my uh, LG uh, Blu-ray DVD burner combo. Um, not very quick. If you install a 3DS Max or uh, anything that has more than uh, two discs, it'll take a really long time, no matter what. Take a long time to read a uh, Blu-ray since it's uh, I think it's eight speed. Um, I actually have to plug this in because uh, I don't have a case right now, so you know I really need my power. All right, is that 20 degrees? 20 degrees at 3.2 gigahertz right now. It's a mild overclock. This is a. It's running a Intel Core i7 950 in there. I'll just move the wires here. There's my ramp. Actually, I'll move this back. If you see this, try to let it focus. This is actual uh, Mushkin Enhance. This is the Ridgeback edition. It says black line on this little sticker, but it's uh, it's Ridgeback. And um, yeah, I don't know if you can see the specs. This is a triple channel kit running at 1600 megahertz at CL6 timings. Very amazing RAM. I'm very, uh, I believe, Mushkin now. Very good RAM. Once I show you the Windows experience that gives me for this RAM. Sorry if you hear the fans. Um, if you didn't hear me, well, too bad. I'll make an annotation. And here's the, here's the heart of the system. This is a four-way crossfire. ATI 6970 uh, cards. All right. The first one of which is a diamond, diamond Radeon 6970, sapphire Radeon 6970, another diamond 6970, and another sapphire 6970. Um, I don't know why I mix, mixed and matched them. They're uh, they're not overclocked. They're just running at stock settings right now. Um, I didn't do any benching. Not now. Still, uh, I'm still tweaking stuff right now. 
trying to get all these wires uh, put together. No, I'm just joking. That's pretty hard to do right now without a case. Um, yeah, pretty much have to build my case. But my friend said it looked like a monster, and uh, some angles it kind of looks like a spider. Oh yeah, I got a Western Visual uh, hard drive enclosure here. I took the 500 gig out and put uh, the exact same thing. There's a 1.5 uh, caviar green in there. 1.5 terabyte, sorry. This is my Razer Mamba. Uh, oops, Razer Mamba dock for my mouse here. All right, I found my mouse. So I messed it up. Anyway, that's a Razer Mamba. This mouse is in a class of its own. It's, it'll beat any wired or wireless mouse at uh, one one millisecond response time, which is a uh, that's really quick, and uh, you really notice it. If you compare it to another mouse when you push, uh, let's say, pause on Windows Media Player, you can really notice that there's like not much of a delay compared to like a laptop. And here's a, my camera. I'm using an actual, it's a Microsoft uh, HD cam. I think it's a 5000 series uh, camera. This is a Razer Lycosa Mirror Edition keyboard. Here's my uh, Philips 40 inch 120 hertz television running at 60 hertz, obviously, since. Uh, trying to remove some input lag, there's still a bit of a input lag, so we're racing games really that thing, so let's check out the Windows experience I got for now, so I start overclocking the benchmark and this this will most likely change, but I'll use uh, probably FutureMark 11 or, or Vantage, anyways, processor, memory, graphics, gaming, and uh, Brammy heard this, this goes from a uh, scale to 1.0 to 7.9, right, so let's see what we've got, CPU, well, my base core seven point three because of that hard drive, the SSD. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought it'd be a, at least seven point five or whatnot. But anyways, I don't have money for a Revo drive, or I'd have to water cool all those four uh, ATI cards to gain a few slots so I can put a Revo drive in there. Something bootable on a PCI bracket. Anyways, here's the CPU is at seven point five. That's a overclock of three point two gigahertz. It's not bad. The RAM's at seven point eight. See, that's why I like Mushkin right there. This is at stock timings, no overclocks. I had to overclock my CPU a tad bit just to get this uh, this RAM to run at stock timings. Video, obviously, you put one of these cards in, it'll be 7.9. I got four, so it should be like 70 gazillion point nine, you know. But anyways, and the hard dri the hard disk is my base core at a 7.3, so that's not too bad. So let's just see if. Uh, this uh, hold on a second. Open my catalyst here, my catalyst control center. I'm an I'm an Nvidia fan actually, but anyways, I want to crossfire since you can uh, four-way crossfire in games. See here, you go four four GPUs. I don't know if you can see that. So all four GPUs are working correctly right now. These are on the latest drivers, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, um, the motherboard. I don't know if you can see this motherboard, but that's an EVGA four-way classified motherboard. Very sweet board. It's got a that pulsating EVGA logo. That's a nice uh, something nice cosmetically. It's really nice. Um, this is uh, my motherboard tray out of my half 932 uh, Cooler Master case. Which uh, you know, I cut and whatever. I took this plate off, so you know, my some of the graphics can get a bit of air, exhaust that hot air coming out of these since they're all sandwiched together right now. And yeah, it's pretty much my system. Thanks for watching.